Well, Valentine's Day, it is meant to bring people, of course, closer together. However, there are some situations that can come up if you're not prepared. For example, how should a brand new couple celebrate today's Valentine's Day versus a couple maybe that's been together for years and years? Well, here to help us is the author of the book, Eight Tips to Understand the Opposite Sex. Please welcome relationship expert, Dr. Gilda Carl, AKA the love doctor. <laughs> she is here to help us navigate um, this hot topic so your love can sizzle and not fizzle. How are you? I am fine. It's such a fun time to be here it always. It is. Happy Valentine's Day. You too. So a lot of couples going out tonight, so, you know, getting all pretty and gussied up for their for their love significant other. What if you're a mature couple, Dr. Lud, love doctor? How do, we, how do we keep it going? How do we keep that spark? First of all, I believe that Every day should be Valentine's Day. Oh. When you have a, a new couple or an older couple, and I don't mean in age, people who have been there for a long time, seasoned to know each one's hot buttons, Yes, you have to be respectful. And that's one of the things that sometimes we forget. Absolutely. You know, we just, we, we just don't, we take our, our, our mate for granted mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we don't, baby our mate enough and seduce our mate enough because we've been in this yes. long-term relationship. We don't relationship. court them, right? You know, and after you get them, you the, That's forget. the perfect word, yeah. court. Yeah. You have to be able to court your mate continuously, Susan. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, your mate seems to feel that something's missing in the relationship and you're not emotionally present. Oh. And whatever I do with all my clients, I say, you have to be emotionally present. Okay, okay. So for Valentine's Day, for example, you do want to get your honey something that you've inconvenienced yourself to get. Nice, I like that word. I like that word, All I, I use that word all I the time. Like I like that because it makes people stop and think, well, we've been together for a long time, and I just kind of treat him like an old sofa. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. That's when you're going to go downhill. I like that. So that instead, anybody can yourself. buy anything. Yes, yes. But, but you thought to about it. inconvenience yourself, to go out of your way to make something or cook something really special, or because he said or she said, you know, I'd really like to have something during the year. Remember it. You remembered it. All right, so that's the mature couples. Now the new couples. There's going to be some first timers Ooh, tonight. Yeah. What are some quick <laughs> tips for them? So you're walking uh, a very, very dangerous tightrope because you don't want to say too much. You don't want to say too little. Mm -hmm. You want to let the person know that you're interested, mm -hmm. but you also don't want to be so mushy that the person is going to be turned off. Okay. So, are there some conversations we need to avoid? Oh yeah, there are lots of conversations like, uh, so what are we going to do with the rest of our life? <laughs> Don't lead with that. <laughs> and, and the guy is going to say, oh, wait a minute, yeah, we're already... we just went out for a month. <laughs> right. Where are you going with this? Okay, well, what are some good, what are some good lead off questions or, you know, to get the conversation going? Because well, sometimes you, it's awkward. Well, especially for Valentine's Day, you want to know that the person has a special book that he likes to read. A book is safe. So you go ahead and buy him a book or her a book and it doesn't say, okay, come on, let's get moving with this. And you don't have to intimidate the person. You also want to listen to the person talk about his family and whatever else turns him listener. on. Oh, yeah. Dr. Love, I can talk to you forever. The Love Doctor is with us. We have more information. I wish we could have more time on our website. You can get, check out the book at sonoranliving.com. Thank you so much. My pleasure.